Watching the best. Fox 10 News. Two decades ago, the Maricopa County Juvenile Detention Center tried something new. Art. And the results have been impressive. Steve Nielsen checked out the program that's helped shape young lives all these years. An artist at work. The sounds of creativity. The creation, though, not as important as what's happening to the person creating it. And it's not just pen and paper. We use from watercolors to paint, uh, charcoal, and uh, sometimes we have the opportunity to use uh, a digital art for them to, uh, to use. This location is no art studio. It's the Maricopa County Juvenile Detention Center. This art program is 20 plus years in the making. What they make lasts, both the art and the legacy. A lot of these kids, we used to feel like they were angry or that they just couldn't control themselves and it's really mostly about trauma. These kids have gone through a lot of trauma. And what's crafted here one stroke at a time is displayed throughout the valley at 15 different galleries for hundreds of thousands to see. A powerful tool to help refocus the artist. Getting a, a safe place to kind of create, do something themselves, and kind of get away from being in detention for a period of time. Obviously, these kids come from rough backgrounds, different situations. So actually getting the opportunity to actually have a safe place to kind of expose their creativity. The people behind it say the art is an antidote for a life filled with challenges. These kids just need to be accepted, need to be understood, and I think that's the biggest part of this, and, and they get into tough situations. They get removed from their houses, they get abused, they get neglected, and they just need at least, as they say, uh, one caring adult makes a big difference. So if you see the art hanging on walls, stop and think about the artist who crafted it and how life-changing that canvas can be.